So our next museum is all about railroads. It's just a really tiny. Yeah, Dave, this place is called the Western Pennsylvania Model Railroad Museum, and boy, I hope there are models there. <laughs> Western Pennsylvania Railroad Museum is uh, a group of people who are gathered together to show others uh, the history of railroading and what railroading was like back in the 50s, how important it was to the, the area, and it's also to uh, uh, perpetuate the hobby. What scale is this that we're looking at? This is HO scale, this is 187th. Now the display starts in one place and ends in another, is that it? Starts in Pittsburgh, ends in Cumberland, Maryland. Now what separates this display from just any railroad setup? Well this display we like to call it uh, 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 reality in miniature because what we do is we go to the various towns, various locations, we take pictures, we take measurements, we try to make it as accurate as we can. They go to historical societies. We have photographs posted around the walls uh, of the scenes that we model. So all of that research, that's what really makes this a museum rather than just a train display. Right. Right. What The times that we go through are actually what they looked like back in 1952. Why 1952? 1952 is the transition period where the railroads were switching from steam to diesel. Uh, it's a time when uh, Pittsburgh was really the industrial capital of the nation. Uh, it was the leading producer of iron and steel in the nation. Now the museum has two levels. What's on the top, what's on the bottom? Uh, the top level is our 4,000 square foot layout. And downstairs we have a, it's a replica of an old train station which houses our museum and our ticket window for the holiday show. You buy your tickets at a vintage railroad ticket office. And then to your right is a room shaped like a boxcar. That's our snack bar. And straight ahead of you is a, a room again that looks like a caboose. That's our gift shop. And then in the middle of the room, we have several interactive displays where children can actually run the trains and they love it. So when you start your tour here, you start in Pittsburgh. Right. You see the Smithfield Street Bridge, the Wabash Bridge. Uh, we, we show the incline. The P&LE building back then, that's what it was as a train station. Now it's Station Square. Well, you're leaving Pittsburgh, the B&O train station. You're going out 2nd Avenue past the J&L Steel Mill, in through McKeesport, Dickerson Run Yard, uh, Connellsville, Dunbar, you'll come around to Ohio Powell, Confluence, down around Homesteaders Curve, through the Narrows, into Cumberland, Maryland. Now there's something special about Deal, Pennsylvania. Deal is the highest point between Pittsburgh and Cumberland, Maryland, and it is also the highest spot in our room here. So it's, it's physically higher in the room. Right. You guys take your details seriously. Right? Yes, we do. In McKeesport, there's a, a beautiful exact replica of a church there. And an um, elderly couple was here on a Saturday enjoying the display. And the wife turns to the husband and says, do you recognize that church? And the guy stopped and he looked at it. He thought for a minute. He said, no. And she said, well, you should. We were married there. <laughs> So this is one of the perks of being president. You actually are in the display. I'm in the display, right? Anyone else in the uh, club guys that's in the display? No. That's You're the, the only that's one. That's the only one that has a picture oh, in the display. Right. That's pretty sweet. Did you ever have any derailments? Derailments? That's that's a bad word. No, <laughs> no we never have derailments. OK. So you said you started the, uh, the construction of this particular display in 1989. Right. When will it be done? That's hard to say. I mean, it's an ongoing work. So even when it's done, it's never done. Right, right. It won't be done because you're always, you're always finding something to touch up. And of course, during the show, it's a very exciting place to be on a, on a Saturday with you know hundreds of people here, all ages, all sharing a common joy over the trains and, and the uh, the layout. Uh, it's it's pretty neat.